There are three main types of paper sizes, A, B, and C. These are used widely in the industry for different purposes. This video shall present the size comparison for each category and their use in the industry. When comparing the A series to the B series, the main difference lies in the size. The B series is about 1.4 times larger than the A series at each respective number, which means A4 size will be 1.4 times smaller than B4 size. Now, let's bring perspective objects in so that we have a reference for our comparison. This is a standard 12-inch ruler. Let's put a regular notebook and a pen. Now, as you can see, the A4 size paper is the paper you most commonly use in the office work and for your notes in college. Its size is 210 by 297 millimeters. Now let's compare other paper sizes with this paper. The A series officially has sizes from A0 to A10 in ISO standard 216, where A0 is the largest size and A10 is the smallest. A5 paper is half the size of A4 paper used in small notebooks and flyers. A6 is half the size of A5 paper used in creating postcards or invitations. A7 is half the size of A6 paper used in business cards. A8 is half the size of A7 paper, A9 is half the size of A8 paper, and A10 is half the size of A9 paper. All not very common, but sometimes used in tickets and labels. Moving toward the sizes above A4 paper, A3 is used in drawings, while A2, A1, and A0, which are double in size comparing to the previous, are used in big posters. The B series has around 1.4 times the area that fits between these sizes if required, while the C series is created for purposes like developing envelopes for A series paper. C4 paper can fit the A4 paper inside it without any fold and used as an envelope. There are two other paper sizes, called letter and legal paper, which are used widely in industry. The letter size is close to A4 size and used interchangeably, while legal size is a bit longer to accommodate for extra text or official logos, stamps, and signatures. We hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comment section below.